Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me trying to do day uh, 11 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's bra. Uh, yeah, I haven't done this one before, so yeah, and I'm a little bit late today. It's been a long day <laughs> traveling, Larry. Um, yeah, today's bra is 1146, snapshot away. I haven't done it yet, so let's go. Uh, okay, so there's an interface, you have length. Where each element is zero set okay so you set everything snap take a total numbers of times we call snap minus one text a snap and return snap id the number of the, okay returns the value of the given index at the time we took the snapshot with a given snap id okay i see so basically you take a snap which gives you a random ID effectively and then you kind of um, want to get the value of a given thing okay so mm, mm. huh I guess, hmm, let me try to think about this for a second. I actually don't know how, uh, there are a couple of ways you can think about it. L is you go to 5 times 10 to the 4th. So and something that's like N squared obviously isn't going to be good enough. But, but basically, hmm. I mean, I, I think th there is a, uh, if mm, like there's some square root decomposition e thing that you can do, but I feel like that's definitely way overkill. So I'm not gonna think about it that much on that one. Um, can you just do it naively? I don't know. I mean, I guess you can just do a binary search and just store the changes uh, on a stack or something for each number, right? Um, given that the index is only 5 times 10 to the 4th, and that makes each each get operation 10 to the 4th, so that should be okay, right? So, yeah. And I think the, the thing about snap is that, that um, you can set multiple times between the snap, but then you just don't change it. So, so I think that should be okay. So, okay, so let's just say... Um, just say values is equal to do, 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 just like empty arrays times length, right? And you have to kind of do this for for uh, loop. You can't just do like a multiple a multiply thing. Otherwise, it'll be the same reference, right? And uh, maybe self dot snap is equal to zero or something like this, right? Okay, and then set we do self set dot values of index. We can append uh, something like self dot snap value, right? It's not quite that because I think you can overwrite it or something like this, right? So if length of self dot values of index is greater than zero and self dot values of index the top of it, if the the ID is equal to self dot snap, then then you kind of pop, right? I mean, you could pop, you could replace, you could do a couple of things, but that's basically the idea, right? And then otherwise you append. And then for snap, you just do snap increment by one, and then you return self to snap, maybe off by one, I didn't really pay attention, but that's fine either way, right? Like it's an easy fix, change the order. And then now when you want to get the index on the thing, you just do self dot values of index. Um, what are we doing, right? So we, for a snap, we want to get the biggest number th that is smaller than or equal to this number. So maybe what you want here is bisect that bisect right. Uh, you want the snap ID. Maybe negative one, I don't know. The value, value can be up to zero. So then now, no, 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 wait. Something's a little bit off. Okay, so 
for a snap ID, so for a given value, for a given value, we want the biggest one. Yeah, so okay, so this is infinity instead, right? Yeah. So then it goes to the next one, so then we could go back one, right? It's the the one. Um so let's just say this is I don't know, index is already used. So just to say x is equal to this, right? And then if x minus one is greater than zero and um and length of sub u so if that values of index is um, greater than x minus one then we can just return that right otherwise we return zero because that's just the previous thing you could also have just win zero here i guess like maybe zero zero or something like this maybe then then we don't have to worry about this part anyway because uh, for this number, this will always give you a 1. So maybe that's fine then. Yeah, if we just set everything to 0. Maybe. Let's see. Mm, snap. Int object not callable. What, are we, what, am I, what, what is happening? Mm, am I returning? Oh, mm, no. This is, is this a right? Oh, this is not an int object. This is uh, in kids ID. So now we should be creating the value. Okay, that wasn't it. Uh, so I think that ha uh, that is was also was wrong, but still. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see. I, I don't know wh where the wrong thing is. So let's take a look at. Some stuff. What is int object not callable? I feel like they need better error messages for stuff like this. Uh, okay, so we call object dot snap. Am I? Am I like mess? I mean, I'm clearly messing something up, but I don't know what that messing up is. Because um, if I did, I would fix it. Because I don't know how to read the error messages. So, okay, oh, this tells you to do, 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 object is equal to this thing. I think this is right, yeah. Object.set. And then this, I don't know. What is wrong with this? I don't get it. Is this returning an... I don't get it. I mean, it seems like object is not a, a, a bad thing, but... I don't have to return anything here, right? Do I? I don't think so. Okay, so that's good that it does, it caused this. Okay. Okay. Right, so this is good. But then that, for whatever reason this returns uh Am I messing something up? How do we turn self or something? What what's going on here? I don't think that's it, right? Yeah, I, I knew that. Then why are you giving me an error on this thing? Int object not callable? What did, what did I click on? Okay. What was the template? I don't get it. You don't get it. Is this having issue calling it? Hmm. Well, I mean, this 
was an easy problem. <clears throat> I can't tell if this is my issue or, or, or leak code's issue. Because basically, if you call this, object is equal to da da da, and then set. Does that get caught? Okay, so that just got caught, but it's a none, right? So we turn, I don't know. I think that makes sense. Hmm. I'm inclined to think this is just a lead code thing, but. Because it's not even calling this, right? It's not like. It's not like um, I don't get it. It's not even calling this, right? So I mean, I don't know if I'm off by one, but it's not even printing. It's not doing anything. I don't know that I'm doing anything funky. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of half cheating a little bit. Mostly just because I, what, what is this error? This is not a real error from my thing, right? It's an a driver thing. And basically, it is just saying that, you know, okay, let me, let me copy this and then let me reset it. Maybe there's some like weird thing. Where do I run this? Okay, obviously. Okay, fine. Sorry, friends. This is so silly. All right, let's see. Right. It's still giving me object not callable. I don't get it. I think the code is just having issues today. Inside of that is oh is it values maybe? Is it like you know maybe I didn't need to name something else? I don't get it. What what was it? What self dot snap? Oh, I see. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I get it, but it's it's such a funky thing. Okay, thank you, Python, for being uh, so. Okay, I mean, I feel like Leetco could do a little bit better, maybe, but that's an impossible thing. So basically, what happens is that I I converted the function into a, a number, which is the uh, which is to say, which is why it it, it was giving me um. Which is why it's giving me uh, an issue. Wow! What what a what a what a craziness! Oh, oops. Maybe it's off by one, but otherwise it should be okay. I think. Uh, what am I saying? Oh yeah, okay. I I kind of knew that one. Is it okay? I don't know. It, the, the, the examples are pretty bad, so... Well, not that it's bad, it's just not for right? All right, so that was a very silly Python mistake where type safety kind of... on the lack of type safety kind of messed me. But, uh, yeah. Uh, otherwise, this is pretty straightforward. The hard part is the binary search. Uh, after that, everything else is kind of, you know, constant. So, yeah. And space is going to be linear in the size of both the number of queries and the side, the length, right, that we want to care about. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.